What's up my people, you don't know the boy Yardman is here Today we come to do some, we are doing some Chinese, yes? As you know the coronavirus, Chinese people are locked down, Chinese shop locked down And you know we're in quarantine so why not let's cook our own Chinese So today we're gonna do our own also cause the kids and everybody need different Chinese Who don't want sweet and sour, who don't want fried rice, want noodle, want special charming and all of these things So you don't know the boy Yardman there for everything So today we're gonna do just that so i have some of the things prepared already you know chinese is a quick thing so you have to have everything prepared you can't have to you can't leave and go and peel onion or do this you have to have that ready cut up ready because everything is just a dashing in like if every 10 30 seconds you have to be putting in that putting so we have everything ready so today now we have um this is the spring onion as you can see we don't use the the end of it we just use the the middle that's the part where the flavor is so this is some spring onion some garlic and some chili and um this is the end of the the spring onion we're going to use at last we have some chicken dice up this chicken going to use for the um sweet and sour chicken and we have some carrot for the sweet and sour sauce we have some pineapple going to go in the sweet and sour sauce we have some bamboo shoot as well. We have some peppers, you know, everything cut up and ready. We have some onion and you don't know, we have to have the Brussels sprout. So have some bean sprout, sorry, bean sprout. And we're gonna get cooking, but before all of that, let's get everything prepared. Let's get everything ready so we can have everything bash, bash, bash and done. So you don't know the boy, you're gonna be Chinese. So get some of the things ready. So now I'm gonna finish cut up the chicken. This chicken that I'm cutting up here is gonna be for the um, um, chicken um, special fried rice with chicken and prawns. Yes, I have the prawns as well. I forgot to show you the prawns. Prawns are ready. So I'm just doing this little bit of last cutting up of the chicken. So you know this chicken is like strip. So and that one is like cube. So it's for two different things. So you know, We're having it cutting up. Cause you don't know it have to cook quick, so you can't cut it too chunky, too fat. You have to make it real thin so it cook real quick. That's the main aim of Chinese, you know, everything cook quick. So finish cutting up this chicken for the chicken chow mein with some noodle. Oh, I have the noodle as well. You know, like I said, everything prepared. So I boil the noodle already, show it to you in a minute. Big up everybody who view my channel, big up all my subscribers. So we're gonna take away the chicken This board. is the noodle that will boil already. And we rinse it off and put some oil on it just to keep it separated. Don't we don't want it too sticky. So we just put some oil on it, keep it separate. So you know, everything, like I said, is a quick thing. So everything gonna get done at once. So we're gonna move the chicken away and put the chicken up here. Put the chicken right here. So these are all of the ingredients. Later. This is the rice that we cook early on. And you know, when you're cooking Chinese, uh, when you're doing rice, it's always good to, it's not always nice to use. You can use overnight rice. That's the best ideal rice to use because it's dry and you don't want it to clump it together. So the, the, you cook the rice and put it to cool. So you know, you get everything, all the rice grains separated. So that's what you want. This is the rice. So as you can see, everything has been prepared. Everything cut up, everything ready because when we're ready, everything just going in like bash, 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 bash. So you don't know my people, big up on yourself, big up to all who subscribe to my channel, big up to all who view my channel and you don't know Yardman there cause there's a lot of cooking I got go on during this time. We're not at the shop so everything gonna be on my YouTube channel. So remember for check out my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel you know. Remember my people cause you don't know without only the channel is nothing so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned because guess what, this thing gonna get epic fam so so now we're gonna do the butter for the um sweet and sour chicken so we have some self-raising flour in this we're gonna add a little bit of cornstarch to it and we're just gonna add some water we just want to get it into a butter like that they do the fish and chips so that's what we're doing here so it's a butter like and we're just gonna add a little tip of oil in it. The oil that's what give it the little crispiness to it. So that's a little tablespoon of oil. You can use vegetable oil, you can use olive oil, it's clearly up to you. Just a little bit more water in this to get it a little bit more. 
So we're going to season the chicken now. After we get this actually purified, we finish it now. Here's the chicken. As you can see, that's the chicken. Just going to season the chicken now. So we're just going to use um, one egg. We're not going to use our whole egg. We're just going to use the the egg yolk. Sorry, so we're just going to use the egg yolk. That's all we want here. So that's one egg yolk. Put that there for the fried rice. I'm just gonna put a little bit of starch corn, corn flour onto that and um, a pinch of salt. Just a little pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. Where's my pepper? That's for season. That's a pinch of pepper. As you see that, I'm just gonna get this, mix it together, put it all, everything together like this. So the egg gonna give it that little firmness and the corn flour gonna give it the crispiness that we're looking for. So when we put it in the sweet and sour sauce, it doesn't soak up the sauce. So we're gonna put everything in the batter now. We're gonna further mix it. Mix it in the batter so you see what it look like. So just wanna get it in the batter. So this is the flour, the cornstarch, the chicken. So everything mix. Wash my hand. Get my hand wash. So now we're gonna go over here of the oil hot it's about really hot so as you can see the oil is hot so we're just gonna put in all the chicken pieces in it and you meant to add that so you see it start to fry so we're just gonna add all the chicken into it so this is we're gonna that's the chicken actually finished. So we're gonna actually take them out now. So we're gonna take them out because these chicken are so crispy and delicious. So take them out. So this is what you're looking for. So this is what you need. That's how it meant to stay. So now we're gonna move on to the sweet and sour sauce. We're just gonna use some of the same chicken oil. And we're gonna put in, we're gonna put in some fresh garlic, some spring onion, and some chili. We're gonna add the carrot. We're gonna add the carrot. And then we're gonna add one spoon of tomato puree. One spoon of strawberry jam. Then add some, some water to this. We're gonna add the sweet pepper, the pineapple, we're gonna add some bamboo shoot.
so this is the sauce how it looks so we're gonna add some vinegar to it some rice wine vinegar we're gonna add a pinch of salt just to give it a little seasoning and we're gonna add some pepper I forgot that to put in the onion but don't forget I put in the onion into it so we're gonna do that so this is what the sauce looks like as you can see so it's coming to really coming together now and because my kids love broccoli this is optional I'm just gonna add two broccoli into it because they like broccoli into the season the chicken so we're gonna add back the chicken to it you can hear the crips in it you hear that that's what, that's what you want you're gonna put in the chicken so we had in the chicken so that's all the chicken so we're just gonna give it a coat So we're just gonna coat, move on everything into it. And just make the sauce all over the chicken. So you got the pineapple, you got the onion, you got the mixed pepper, you got the garlic, you got the sweet chili, you got the everything inside of it. So we're just gonna let it stay there for another minute or two. So take another look. And see what it looks like. You see that? So this is what we want. And now we're just gonna add. So now we're gonna add the oil. So there's some oil in it. We're just gonna move up the oil around. Just wanna get the pot really hot with the oil. So the oil on the pot. Get, we're gonna do the egg first. So this is about three eggs. Just gonna beat it together. The pot is really hot, so I'm gonna throw some of this oil. Don't want a lot of oil. Just get the pot warm, just a little bit of oil, and we're gonna. Scramble the egg, put the egg from So just gonna move the egg around, we just want the red egg to cook a little bit. So we're just gonna add this to the rice when we put in everything. So we have to do the egg first. So this is the egg actually finished. So we're gonna transfer it in into a little bowl. So we're gonna use that. Just make you see what we're doing here. So we're just gonna put this into a little bowl because this we're gonna add back into the rice later. So we'll get the egg done first. So that's all the egg in. So we're gonna put that on the fire and we're gonna start the fry rice. So this fry rice that we're gonna do, we're gonna do some shrimp fry rice with chicken, charming. So we're gonna use some prawns, peas, scallion, garlic, and green chili, some onions, some bamboo shoot, and we have some carrot, and we have some sweet peppers. So everything here, gonna go inside here now. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna, and we have the chicken. And we have the chicken here. So what we're gonna do first, we're just gonna season the chicken. A little bit of salt. And pepper. This is our black pepper from Jamaica. Now it's a seat out of the bag, but it's our black pepper from Jamaica. And just gonna move this up. Just to season it up a bit. Wash it in. Gonna use the oil. So you're gonna pour back some oil in it. Let it get up as so I add the chicken. 
So the chicken them are cut in strips, as you can see. All of them are strips and really thin. So they're gonna cook really, really a matter of minutes to cook. Less than five minutes, and these baby strips of chicken will cook. Don't forget we're gonna cook it back over again. So we're just gonna cook it through a little bit thoroughly because the next time we put it back in the heat is gonna really go quicker. So that's what we want here. We're just gonna take out these. We're gonna put them in this. We're gonna keep the oil on the fire and we're gonna actually do the same for the prawns. So we're gonna season the prawns, a little bit of salt, just a little bit of salt to them prawns. You know the prawns take wash your hand, dry your hand. You know the prawns take literally seconds to cook. You just wanna, you know, just give them a push start. You just you don't wanna cook them through because prawn take really quick to cook. So we already clean them up. We score them behind, as you can see. So it already score, already clean, wash. Remember, always wash everything before you use it. So just gonna put in the prawns. Wash your hand. Dry your hand. And by the time I wash my hand and dry my hand, these prawns are actually finished. Just give them, see they change color immediately. So they're actually finished. So this is all that we're gonna cook. Because don't forget we're gonna cook them again. So these prawns are actually finished. Just gonna take them out of the oil. And now we're gonna start the uh, rice. So we're gonna add some, as you know, this is garlic. We're gonna add some garlic. We're gonna add some spring onion. We're gonna add the green chili. We're gonna add some of the green chili at the end as well. We're gonna fry this off a little bit. We're gonna add some of the carrot, just a little bit of the carrot. Optional, you don't have to put the carrot if you don't like the carrot. We're going to add our onions. And then from there, we're going to add back the chicken. You can see the chicken actually cooking again. We're going to add the bamboo shoot. Just going to add some, some bamboo shoot. So now we're gonna add the rice. And this is the rice that I showed you earlier and that we cook, we leave to cool because we want the rice to be dry. So we don't want the rice to be sticky. So this is why we cook the rice early on. We put it down to cool so it's dry, actually dry so you can see all the grains. So we're gonna add the rice. That stage we're gonna add some of the pepper. We're gonna add some yellow pepper, green pepper. So we're gonna season this now. So we're gonna add a little salt. We're gonna add some soy sauce, dark soy sauce. And that's what's gonna give it the flavor and that's what's gonna give it the color, the soy sauce. So always use dark soy sauce. If you're diabetic or anything, you can use light soy sauce. But you know, soy sauce is a little bit salty as well. So about a tablespoon. That should be it. And we're gonna add the egg. So this is where the egg comes in. And now we're just gonna put everything together. So you've got the chicken. Now we're gonna put in the prawns. Take your look closer. So 
So you see what's going on here? Come on here. Take a little closer. And you're going to see what's happening here. The magic that's happening. With this prawn, the chicken, the pepper, the onion, the garlic, the spring onion, the soy sauce. So that's everything in three. You see the rice, actually you can see the grain then. So it's really dry. And why you dry it then? Because sometimes when the moist is in it, it starts to spring its own water. So you don't want it any water. So you want the rice to really dry. This is why we cook it from earlier. And we leave it to cool down just to dry. So that makes the perfect fried rice. So we're gonna bring it over here. Let that go on. Meanwhile, you know we're gonna start because, like I said, some of the kids are sorry. I'm gonna add the. Don't forget. Um, I'm gonna add the peas. Don't forget the peas. Incorporate all the flavor. Do um, your your cooking in a, in a Chinese wok. If you have a nice pot like this, a non-stick pot, you can use this. And the um, chicken with the noodles, sorry. So we're gonna add some spring onion, garlic. We're gonna add the onion. We're gonna add some carrot. Leave the pepper till lost, a little bit lost. And then we'll add some bamboo shoot. We're gonna add some of the chicken that we do earlier. We're gonna add back some of the prawns. And now we're gonna add the noodles. gonna add some magic the dark dark soy sauce so this is gonna give it a flavor and the color it's gonna add about two tablespoons so we're gonna add some um we're gonna add the broccoli I'm gonna, sorry I will gotta add some bean sprout. And we're gonna add the sweet peppers. I'm just gonna mix in all of this. I'm just gonna cook it for Like you know, you can always tell me what you want me to cook. Like we in quarantine at the moment. You can always tell me what you want me to cook. Leave it in my comment. You know, it's going to be up on YouTube or my channel, Yardman AFC. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I don't know. With the inside, indoors, there's no Chinese shop open. So, you know, we can cook our own Chinese. Tastes even better. Way better. Yardman Chinese. So, this is what's happening. So, we're going to add a little, about a tablespoon of this inside of it. Not very, not a lot. It's really complement the prawns. Think the fish sauce, the prawns, as you know, the soya sauce give it its flavor. But you can add any other flavor that you want to add to it. Remember, it's your cooking. So you cook it as all you want it, as all you want it to taste. So don't be shy, don't be afraid. If you don't see I put anything and you want it in it, you can always add it. Remember, it's your cooking. So you add what you want, you take out what you don't want, and you go ahead. So this has been cooking for the last two minutes now, been stirring for the last two. This is the actually chome. So there we go guys, yes. Special fried rice with king prawns and chicken. We have the chicken chome with broccoli, king prawns and chicken, and we have the sweetest of chicken. Yardman style.
So don't forget to hit me up on YouTube, Yardman AFC. Tell me what you want me to cook it during the quarantine. Cook anything for you. I put it up. I show you how to do it. Remember, you can add what you want. You can take out what you want. It's your own. Do what you feel like to do. Your cooking. Big up on yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like I said, Yardman AFC. Big up my fans. Big up all my subscribers.